Etching the Elephant, Simeon said to Mary, Behold, this child is destined for the ruin and rise of many in Israel, not to be a sign of contradiction. Your own soul, a sword, will pierce. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And uh, today our church commemorate Our Lady of Sorrow. And we come to the Lord, we know that the Lord suffered on the cross in order to bring us forgiveness and bring us salvation. And we come, acknowledge our sins, and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplication with loud cries and thirst to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of her, his reverence. Son, do he was. He learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never put, be put to shame in your justice. Rescue me, make haste to live, deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of repute, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which towards those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. 
Save me, O Lord, 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 in your kindness. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister. Mary, thy, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple to her, into his home. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. At the Annunciation, when Mary said yes to the invitation of the angel of Gabriel to be the mother of the Son of God, Mary had entered a life totally different from probably from what he, uh, her, ex, uh, her expectation. And uh, since then, and she had become the part of life of Jesus Christ. She totally participated in the life and mission of Jesus Christ. And whenever, where, wherever Jesus was there, his mother, Mary, our blessed, uh, blessed Mother. And uh, today we commemorate the sorrow of our Blessed Mother. Of course, our Blessed Mother have truly been joyful to know our Lord Jesus Christ, and joy have been part of her life. But uh, we also know that Jesus suffered much, and uh, in that suffering, our Blessed Mother the mother of Jesus Christ also participate. And we have several, seven sorrow of our blessed mother. And uh, when uh, she gave birth to Jesus Christ, when she brought Jesus Christ into the temple, and Simeon already uh, anticipated and predict that uh, our blessed mother will suffer uh, a sword will pierce into her heart. Of course, at that word, she couldn't understand the full meaning, the mystery of the suffering, but uh, she pondered that word in her heart. That's always she does. Then we know that Jesus, uh, w when Herod was persecuting all those, uh, uh, under, uh, all those children under uh, age of two, and they have to flee uh, to Egypt. And uh, you know, that was a long journey. But uh, in their suffering, and our mother continue hold that, that uh, continue pardon the word uh, suffering. What is the meaning of the suffering? And uh, she totally trust in the Lord. And through all her suffering, and uh, she never wavered her faith in the Almighty God. Uh, she always believed 
that Jesus is Son of God. Today in the Gospel we hear that when Jesus was crucified on the cross and she was standing there with uh, his uh, uh, beloved disciples and then at that we know how much anguish and how much suffering that our blessed mother endured at the moment of Jesus' death, even after Jesus' death, as she was holding um, Jesus' body in her arms. So how anguish, how painful it was for our blessed mother. So what was in her mind, we could wonder, uh, did, he, did she ever doubt about, about God's love for her and for Jesus Christ? Uh, did she ever raise the question, why? Why this happened to my son? Why this happened to the son of God? Uh, why God does this to his beloved son? Probably she did ask, ask these questions, but uh, at the end, she uh, choose to believe in Almighty God. That's why we hear the word that uh, our blessed mother standing um, under the cross. She was not uh, crushed. Uh, she was not uh, defeated uh, by suffering, but uh, she had courage standing there erect. And uh, in that standing, uh, she chose believe the mercy of God. She chose believe that uh, uh, in, uh, she chose believe in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So our blessed mother can teach us a lot about uh, the love of Jesus Christ. And uh, she, when she were standing under the cross, and she saw not, on, not just the plain suffering of Jesus Christ, but in that suffering, and she saw the love of God. So that's why we often are invited to come back to the cross and to gaze on the cross, to ponder uh, how much that Jesus loves each of us. Uh, he willing to endure all the pain, all the anguish, all the suffering he was, uh, uh, when he was nailed on the cross. And today, as we commemorate our blessed mother, that we know we face uh, sufferings in our life, and nobody can escape, uh, no matter what kind of suffering, uh, just like Jesus Christ. He was alone in suffering, and we suffer loneliness. And we su Jesus was suffering physical pain, and we suffer physical illness and pain. But uh, all this suffering uh, become meaningful um, because Jesus was on the cross, and we participate in that suffering. And Paul, even St. Paul says, uh, I endure suffering for what is left of the suffering in Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus suffered, and, uh, but uh, uh, Paul says there's something lacking, and uh, that is each of us, uh, Jesus invited each of us participate in their suffering, and then their suffering become meaningful, become redemptive. Whenever we have courage, whenever we endure our suffering, especially in the suffering of Jesus Christ, then our suffering become redemptive. We suffer for others, and we suffer for the salvation of the world. So that's so meaningful for each of us. So whenever we ourselves have pain, whenever we feel lonely, we come to Jesus Christ. As we united our suffering to the suffering of Jesus on the cross, then it's become mean, very meaningful. And today we hear in the gospel, uh, Jesus has entrusted uh, us to our blessed mother, to his mother. And he said, um, behold your mother. And he also uh, entrusted a uh, blessed mother to each of us and behold your mother. So we have such a blessed mother and she knows Jesus um, 
and she know everything about our Lord Jesus Christ. And whenever we come to her, and she will lead us to Jesus Christ. Whenever we come to her, she will ease our suffering and teach us how to be courageously embrace everything that God has given to each of us and embrace our cross, and take, up our, uh, take our crosses, and then follow Jesus Christ. So it's a such meaningful feast for each of us. And uh, the world is in pain, the world is in suffering. Many people in this pandemic feel loneliness, and many people have lost loved ones, just like our blessed mother lost Jesus Christ on the cross. And, uh, but uh, as I preached in many funerals for the mothers, and you know, uh, God has given us strength, like God has given Mary the strength, and in facing suffering, to embrace it, and to be courageous, um, because that's what our blessed, our blessed mother did. So why she has the courage to stand erect, under the cross simply because of her faith. So we ask God to increase our faith. And no matter what, we know that God will never abandon us. And God is always with us, just like our blessed mother trusted. So let us uh, ask God for that faith, for that courage, and uh, then turning into something painful, something uh, anguish, into something meaningful. That's the mystery of the cross. And uh, Jesus endured the pain, endured the suffering, bring us salvation through his love. And may we embrace whatever coming into our life and courageously to stand erect and uh, because we have Jesus Christ who have done everything for us and who endured everything. So let us uh, invoke our blessed mother. Oftentimes you see uh, our blessed mother pictured or statues have tears for each of us. And she in heaven see everything, see everything we endure and uh, she continue standing under the cross and praying for each of us. So she is with us very closely. And no matter what we endure, let us uh, seek our Blessed Mother's intercession and knowing the meaning of suffering and transform them into joy and peace of resurrection. Now let us stand and offer our prayers to our Almighty Father through intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. We pray for the Church. Um, may we follow the example of our Blessed Mother, always have faith in Jesus Christ and uh, to bring the good news to others. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us pray for the world uh, toward by war, hatred, division, and may we be united under the cross of Jesus Christ, and knowing that we all belong to one Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those people who are suffering in this pandemic, those people who lost their loved ones, and those people who are sick. And may God bring them consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all pregnant women. And when may they, they have necessary aid to help them through the pregnancy. And may God fill them with joy in anticipating the birth of their children. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for single mothers, 
Uh, we pray for those people who have lost their loved ones, especially their children. Uh, we pray for those people who consider abortion. May God uh, give them strength and value their children as uh, God's given life. Let us pray to the Lord. We also pray for our beloved deceased. And today we especially remember Benito, Leonardo, Hildago. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Now in the silence of our heart, we offer our personal prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Grace loving God, we thank you for giving Jesus to each of us, and we are thanking he, uh, your Son, our beloved Jesus, give our beloved um, a mother to each of us. And through her intercession, uh, in Jesus' name, we offer all our prayers. Uh, may you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, and work on him in hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for praise and glory of God's name, for our good, good of his holy church. Receive, O oh merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayer and sacrificial offering which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name as we commemorate our Blessed Mother. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, 
and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtue of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we are for you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Salvatore of Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Benito and Leonardo, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her son, we may complete in ourselves, for the Church's sake, what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A message and it guarantees. Thank you all for joining the Mass. Have a blessed day. <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> we miss you too. <laughs> 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 <laughs>